Hello, welcome to MeanStack.js. This is a brand new take on a MeanStack implementation. And we really are here because we want to take this framework and make it easier for you and your life as a designer, a developer, a QA, or a software engineer, or just a full stack engineer, or even just a open source developer that loves to code. We want to make your life easier from the front to the back, from command lines to testing, from E to E to basically anything you can think of in this stack. We want to make it simple. We want to make it easier. We want this to be straightforward. So let's jump right in and see some of the cool features that we got. Um, first and foremost, let's turn on the server. You can do an npm start or you can do a node start. You can do a node mon start, however you want. If you do npm start, we have a node mon already set up in there for you to run. So if we refresh this, you'll see the two pages are now going to be connected through live reload. So this is also a huge feature for us is there's no gulp or grunt dependency so all you have to do is start server up and you're ready to go so let's type this in Jason's here let's save this cool you see now right there on the middle page Jason is here let's jump right into another big feature uh, let's talk about how we support SAS less and uh, what was it, CSS, the most, well obviously that's the standard, but we support these by also recompiling them and compiling them for you right off the bat. So let's go into the client, everything here gets registered to the client, or sent to the client if they need it, and uh, let's see, we want to go into styles, we want to go into the global style SAS, let's go into the body here and show you how, we're going to call background dash color, we're going to say we want it black, we're going to save this. You'll see without us having to do anything, the page actually is now black in the background. And it says here in our command prompt, it notice because we're watching this file in development mode that, hey, uh, we need to recompile the SAS, which also re the global SAS, not just the SAS, the global SAS, which then also recompiles the blog style SAS and the footer style and the global style because they all use the global. Now, if we were to just do a blog, update the blog SAS, it wouldn't do all this because it didn't change a global file, it just needs to recompile that one file. So this is not really f nice for us because now you don't need to redo your page at all and boom, you're recompiling and just continuing on and updating. So that's really cool. We're going to change that back and you'll see it changes right back. Sweet stuff. Alright, cool. Let's move on. Let's control this out. Let's do npm run. If you use npm run, you're allowed to use any of the scripts I've created on the package JSON. And one of them is CLI. And you'll see here we have a, you can create module creation section where you can create a schema. You can create a back end, a front end, or together both modules. And we kind of are on a module format. You can go in there and look. You can also go to John Papa's Angular style guide and use it and go to actually his hot towel example. That's where we. We saw what he was doing on the front end, we really liked it, and we took some of the way he was doing it and brought it on over. And so that's how our modules work. So go ahead and check those out. Um, one quick thing is one thing we got that most people don't have is you can create a custom schema. So yes, we want a custom schema. We want to give the field name a tester, string, that's the type, uh, default value, null. Do I want to create another one? No. And it will output this for me and which will allow me to come right here and to copy it over and go put it into a file which would then open it up to a dynamic API because we have this really cool thing module we're using called build REQ and actually I could actually use the exit in the CLI I didn't though. Um, if we go over to well, if we're gonna do an npm start uh, before that, let's actually get the file up in there. Let's go over to server modules. Let's create a new one. Call it example. Actually, I need to create a folder first. Example. Let's call it example.model.js. And yes, we have a naming convention for our files. It always goes unique name. Uh, file identifier and then file extension. And yes, that was what we wanted. Okay, so I'm gonna go over here and paste what it had built for me and copy it and save it. And then the standard uh, Sublime plugin will kick in, and we're gonna save that and we're gonna turn this right back on. 
and we're going to come here now and you'll see there right there it says route built by the npm build rq example so now we have opened this up just by simply putting in the schema we can actually come over here and i don't want that i want it right there and you'll see here now we have an api and this is also where it adds in some huge functionality for us let me refresh this and show you because it's always easier to see on preview the api sends back actions counts the data and there is some data here i forgot i had even made this but hey it's data and actually what we can do is then we can do things like uh you know this had data in it oh cool either way um we can do a whole lot of different things with it. Uh, the query capabilities, this is another big feature. These are all the things you can query on. You can query on all the files, you can query on, uh, you can do a sort, sort by date, I just mean do equal, date, and limit to one. And you can start adding a whole bunch of other things and really make it dynamic. And there's more. Go check out the build RQ package. Uh, a lot of things you can do with it. Uh, let's go back to the actual site node real quickly. So that's what you can do with this. And you can see all of our routes already are on here. So those are some really cool things. Let's go back into the scaffolding tool real quickly. Run this so we can create a back end, create a front end. We can change passwords, change users' roles, view a user. Uh, let's go ahead and create a front end. Actually, let's create a front end and back end. And let's call it uh, tester. No, we don't want a custom schema. We want it to build one of the dynamic ones. And then it goes off, creates all that, and says, What do you want to do next? Well, we want to scroll down. We want to exit. You see, it created the directories, it created the files. All right, so. Let's turn the system back on and see what it did. All right, cool, started back up. And you'll see now it also built out a dynamic API that the API in the system is always gonna be API tester or whatever you say it is. But if you're gonna use the dynamic API, you'll see it always has a version with it. And you can set that version in the settings in the settings folder or settings file. You can change all that. You can even tell it to remove it from by dy dynamically building it, much like the users did here. You see here the user uh, model does not get built because that's something specific because the user's model we have built already and we need that to handle logins and other things and it's it's completely different style. does not need to be even uh, built. That's why we remove it from being built. But now you can see, uh, if we refresh this, we go into routes. Now we have the tester routes in here and those have all been registered and we can go into the tester list. Now we have this page. We can go create a tester. Oh, but see, we must be authenticated because that's what our template says. Our template that we could customly build and change says on certain routes, because that's how I have it set currently, that you need to be logged in. So go back to the list, and you can just see it was created here, and you can go into your templates, check it out. So those are some of the great features uh, that this framework has. I tried to keep this video short. Hope you guys liked it. Um, there's a lot more to this. Uh, it really helps not having to depend on Grunt and some of these other things we do and to really allow our system to just handle it for you but at the same time make it easy for you to go understand, look, and customize to what you need. So check it out. Let us know how it is. Find us on our repo and we'll talk to you guys soon.